All right, this video is gonna be showing you how to replace the starter on a Evinrude or Johnson 85 horsepower and up. This is specifically a 1976 85 horsepower and we're gonna be replacing the starter. So let's get started. First things first, don't keep your battery connected. Disconnect your positive terminal of the battery so that you do not get shocked when you're doing this. All right, to get the starter removed, there's three main bolts that hold in the starter. You have one up here, you have one right here, you have another one down here that's kind of hidden, unfortunately, by your solenoid. So we have to undo the solenoid to get this out. And then this is your positive battery supply. Your negative terminal is supplied by the ground connection through the actual housing of the starter. So let's go ahead and get this undone, this one undone, this one undone, and then we'll undo the connection for the solenoid, get the solenoid out of the way and undo that bolt and then do a quick swap. This is an easy, quick job. Let's disconnect the power cable. And remember, we unhooked the battery, so we're not gonna get electrocuted. So very big, important factor to me. All right, next step. Let's go ahead and disconnect our solenoid. All right, what I'm noticing is I don't have enough wire length to get this out of here. There's a wire clamp here. So just loosen that up and go ahead and pull that wire out of there. And that'll give you a lot more room to work. Um, this is just my positive wire coming in there. All right, so now I can get this out of the way there now that I've adequately loosened all that. As you can see, I have just enough clearance to get in there and get that bolt out. That's all I need. Nothing fancy about it. And then last bolt coming out and the whole starter will be loose. We can take the whole starter out. Let's go ahead and just finish this one off. Now, this bolt up here is a much longer bolt than every other one that goes through the casing, so you'll notice that it's a lot longer than you would expect. So there you go. Let's go ahead and take old starter out. New starter, brand new. Get that into place. I'm gonna tighten down. I won't tighten any of them all the way immediately, but I'll start the bolt just to get it in place. That way it can hold in place. And I'll make sure that the bolts go back in the same holes. Just easier that way. All right, let's just tighten down all three bolts. You got them already hand threaded, so don't strip them, but get them nice and tight. This has got to stay stable during a lot of movement. Let's get this bottom one tight. Okay. And last one up here that we already talked about is that longer one that goes to the cases. So you want to make sure this one's tight. Okay. Next, let's reconnect our wire. And this starter did come with a new nut to go on there. So we'll put that new nut on. Tighten that down. Now let's go ahead and reconnect this back up in the position that we wanted it. We did bend that a little bit, that's okay though. We're getting this back in position pretty easily. All right, so we now have the new starter mounted, the battery connected, or the uh, positive connected again. This is all covered up appropriately. This is remounted. Let's go ahead and put our wire back into our wire clamp here. Get that bent back into position so it holds that wire appropriately. All right, now we're ready to test the new starter out. All right, so let's get our battery reconnected so we can actually try out this starter. All right, tighten this down. That way we have positive battery over to our starter. that new starter works fantastic so like and subscribe thank you guys for tuning in that's how you change a starter out on an Evinrude or johnson 85 horsepower up this is a 1976 85 horsepower for your information